Fusion Phil here with NextGen Cam. Today we're going to talk about utilizing Surface Inspect inside of Fusion 360 on your Herco machine. In this case, we have a WinMax controller on a VC500i. So let's go ahead and start by getting your run -a manual. And in this case, as you can see, my manual is showing me that my actual parameters that I need to pull on my machine so that I can use that information inside of Fusion 360. So let's jump into the controller here real quick and pull that information. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to programmer parameters, NC parameters, NC variables, and then in this case, I have a global 500 starting. So my manual, as you guys saw, went ahead and said everything from 500 to 504 is the information I'm gonna need for inside of Fusion 360. One other piece of information I'm gonna grab real quick is we need the part probe information. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit help on my actual keyboard. We're gonna go down to our M codes, and then we're gonna say M code definition. And now if we scroll down just a hair in my case, we're calling out an M26 for my select part probe or spindle probe as I like to refer to it. So again, we need the M26 codes and those couple of variables from the parameter table. So let's move over to Fusion 360 now and get that set up. So as you can see inside of Fusion 360, I've already set up my Surface Inspect routine. I'm gonna go ahead and post this out. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and right click, post process, and as you can see, the very first thing I need to do is one, I am using Machine Sim, which is a great feature inside of Fusion, but I'm also using the Herco Inspect Surface Post Processor. This is probably the most key element item is to switch from your standard Herco post into the Herco Surface Inspect. So from there on the right side, Side, you're gonna see you have a couple other preferences. These preferences are the fact that in probing and inspect, we need to go based off however you calibrate your machine. In this case, I actually used a ring gauge this morning and calibrated our machine. And then walk through based on all those parameters that we've actually set or Renishaw has given to us. So again, in my case, 500, 502, 503 has been set. And then finally, M26 for both on and off command because that is the call out to tell it that we're using the spindle or the part pro. So now that we've plugged all that information in, we have the ability to go ahead and hit post. And from there, you can see we've created our actual cycle to go over to our machine and start running it. Some of those macro callouts are nice to have. They're actually set right inside of our software here so that you can see that we are calling out those exact parameters in our machine.